As we're writing notes into our score, MuseScore is making guesses all of the time as to which notes we actually mean and where on the score we want them to be placed. By default, MuseScore is going to use the key of the piece of music that you've selected to try and guess which sharps and flats you want in the piece by default. I ended up changing the key of Dave's tune from E major to C major because E major wasn't working out. So if I start playing in some notes, and now I've changed the key to C major, it's going to be using the notes from the C major scale by default as I enter them into the piece. It's also making guesses as to which F I want when I press F and which D I want when I press D. And that's quite a nice feature. Sometimes it doesn't always get it right, but a lot of the time it will try and make the most logical steps in pitch for you when you're writing in melodies. Sometimes, of course, we might want to step outside of the key of the piece that we're working in. We might be modulating to a related key or just want to include some more unusual sounding notes in the music. So if I was to write an F here into my score, you'll see that I just get a normal standard F natural. And that's because MuseScore has looked at the key of the music. Here it's C major and thought, well, most of the time when we get an F in C major, it's going to be an F natural because F sits in the scale of C major. But of course, if we want to change that and have an F sharp instead, all we need to do is come up here to the top bar and click the sharp button. And that will add a sharp to whichever note we've selected in the score. If I wanted an A sharp, I can do that. If I wanted an E flat, I just click on my E flat and click the flat button. We can also add natural signs. So if after our um, A sharp, we wanted an A natural, you'll see it's actually added it for us already. Um, MuseScore is sometimes brilliant at realizing that we need to add special accidentals in because we've talked about an A sharp already in this bar. So if we didn't have anything here, we'd have to assume that this was going to be another A sharp. We can add naturals just by clicking on the button here in the top score. We've even got the more unusual double sharps and double flats which come up from time to time. We can add those in really easily by clicking the buttons in the top bar. But there is another way of finding the exact pitch we want when we're going through slightly more unusual passages in music and we need to add accidentals to make it very clear exactly which pitches we want. And that is for using the up and down keys because MuseScore is very good at giving us all the possible options as we move up and down through the notes. So if you see as I'm pressing down, it's giving me all of the options of flat notes. And as I go up, I'm getting all the options of sharp notes. So if I wanted a G flat, all I need to do is select the G that I've already written into the score and press the down arrow key and that will give me the next logical semitone down. And in this case, that is a G flat. Now, if I want to talk about this note, not as a G flat, but as an F, all I need to do is go down to an F and press the up key. So we get sharps added with the up key and flats added with the down key and it will go through all the logical choices. So by having a play around with up and down, you'll always be able to find the right sharp, flat or natural note that you need to put in your music.